decided to shorten my videos to um, about 15 minutes and then maybe I can get them loaded a little easier. Um, this is taking me forever to get them loaded. Um, hours to do a 30 minute video to get it loaded. So anyway, I'm going to try that. So, um, I'm working on, I would like to get the canvas, what I call covering my canvas now, which is um, getting in this background. And it's a pretty bright backlit uh, surface. Oh, there's that darn clip again, right? Let me just take it off now. The wind's not blowing. So to get my value up and bright, I'm going to add this yellow, this cad yellow, and I've got a bristle brush, uh, the number four filbert silver brush grand P pre, one of my favorite brushes. Uh, let's see, it's not really coming up bright enough for me. Um, it's a it's a really it's like um, prairie grass in this background. So um, I need to get in here closer. So this is I'm getting the canvas covered now. This is where I like to come in and just start getting the canvas color covered where I have all of my colors in all of my values and uh, oops. so the contrast behind these horses is what I'm after this really pretty warm and you see I'm using the edge of the brush that's what's fun about being able to roll your wrist, you can use the whole flat side of the brush. You can come in and turn it on its side and use the edge of the brush. A smaller brush around the horses might be a little more <laughs> prudent, but um, I really want to get the, I just want to get the pain in. picked up uh, that purple and see how it dragged it onto the canvas right here but it's okay it's really not an issue building a painting we started with our sketch and we did our values which is the lights to the darks we um, the next step was moving into color, starting with our darks, maintaining our values, not losing the values, and um, in our horses, well, even in the tree, right? Values from dark to half tones to light, then also from cools, um, darks, uh, which are kind of a neutral dark in that one, to cools to warms. Um, so this is what we're doing and um, that's all I'm going to do right now is just get in now these remaining values and colors and temperature into this painting. I'm going to work for 15 minutes and then uh, come back at it in another shorter video. Um, I think the longer videos are just uh, taking too long to load. So that gives us our contrast, which is quite lovely. Um, I am going to take this, this brush with this color. I've got some pretty intense sunlight 
heading in some of these areas over here, a little bit at the base of the tree, and it moves around over into here. Kind of got smudgy. That's from probably using the wrong brush for the shape I want to get. So I'm going to come in with a, a flat brush when then I can make more um, edgy shapes right here. get that paint where I don't want it or if I get into this brown paint on my brush I am wiping it up dappled light is kind of a interesting thing to play with too it's um That's just kind of fun. I'm enjoying this painting, which is always nice. Sometimes we don't enjoy paintings. We kind of eat our lunch. But those ones challenge us, too. I thought these reflections were going to eat my lunch, but that we pulled it off. It's okay. Definitely some sunshine glancing off this water. Makes it really pretty. Love the different colors happening in the water itself. this uh, kind of an ugly green, the mixture from all my other colors that I grabbed onto my brush. So there's a transition color in here from these darker greens. A little bit warmer. Like I say, wherever, wherever I see a color, I try to play it. That's too light in value. Wow. Got way too light. Darken that back. Sirens. Our world, right? Wow. 
hope everybody's all right. Another one. No, oh, that one stopped pretty close. So this this area over here is kind of rising up in a way I don't really want it to so this is this comes down and then at the bottom of it are these greens and this is this is still part of the water it's a reflection of the tree and it, I made it kind of a little rocky roly, so it didn't make it look like the water. So I'm coming back in, coming back in, to get the surface flattened back down which also lets me know that the bank over here needs to uh, be defined like this this edge here where it's the, the tree and where the the bank starts because that has that's not been defined very well which is right here. And right here. Sometimes once we start building into our lights, our darks get diminished. And so it's important to come back in and build them again, uh, reinforce them. Always resketching. Bring in a little bit of this. Oh, it's kind of a blonde color. I guess I call it blonde. Flaxen.
bring up that mane a little bit. Um, it's a little cooler. I'm going to add a little bit of the blue to it. It's got some cooler areas. And once again, I'm using the edge of my brush where I can just come in. Like so. This guy has some similar colors going on. What I love about the Mustangs is their manes and tails get really long. Um, this little guy, the little baby, Palomino, he has also a white mane. It's not exactly pure white here because it's not hitting full sun. But he's got that that comes down. And he does. He has that little he has a little blaze on his forehead. So we're, I'm just going to stop this here, mainly because we're at our 15, 20 minute limit here on this video. Let's see if they don't upload a little easier, being a little smaller. So, uh, it's hard for me to stop right here, but I also have some place to go right now. So, um, fun times. See, it's hard for me to stop. I'm going to end up with a long video again. <laughs> Oops, I gotta keep this totally horizontal. If I don't, it's gonna end up not right. Okay, there we are, 17 minutes.